Sarah Sloppy, and I've been attending the Vine for about a year. Uh, my name is Bud, and I've been going to the Vine for, um, I think, right at three years now, like a little over three years. My name is Angela Slappy, and I've been at the Vine for about a year now. My name is Tia Pike. I've been here two or three years. My name is Mark Methvin. I've been at the Vine seven years. My name is Austin Harris, and I've been at the Vine for seven years and since the church actually started. I was in the youth life group at the uh, Taylor's house and we probably had about 12 to 14 kids there every week and just ready to learn about God and see what he had in store for us. My life group was uh, Kathy and Bobby McDaniels and a uh, very good life group. We probably had approximately 25, maybe 30 people at one time. Life group was Kathy and Bobby McDaniels group. I'm in the singles group here at the Vine. The uh, young married couples life group, I guess would be the name of it. Uh, we meet uh, every Wednesday night, and uh, we have about uh, about like 18 to 20 members in our life group. In the youth group, like teen life group. Not a fan series showed me that for a while I've been a fan and not a follower. Um, you know, like you kind of were able to look at certain situations in your own life that you have already had, and um, you know, kind of, kind of analyze it to where were you really following Christ during that time, or is that a, you know, was that a solution that Christ would have done? Before the series, I was truly realized I am a fan. I was a fan, and after the series. I found out that Jesus wants us to know Him more on a deeper level. He wants us to be able to um, show His love just as much as He loved us. And it truly opened my eyes to what I was doing wrong in my life and what I need to improve on. I think that I thought I was doing things right, um, following the rules, you know, well, not perfectly, but I thought that's what it was about, following a the rules. We had a conversation in the group about um, a checklist. You know, if you follow the checklist and you're a good Christian and everything's great, and it kind of taught me that's not <laughs> it's not what it's about. It's more about the the relationship, and then the checklist kind of goes away, and it the things you're supposed to do come out of that relationship rather than you working so hard to check things off, I guess. <laughs> Christ, He gives me a direction, an outlook, a desire, and with the integrity to do what's right. It affected me in a lot of ways. It caused me to do a lot of thinking about the relationships I had with people at my school and friends and stuff like that. Cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I Follower to me means just going out every day, you know, wanting to spread the gospel and just wanting to help your friends, you know, find that relationship with God and get that love that you have and just showing them that God loves them each and every day just like He loves you. I was taught you're considerate and your compassion to others always and first and foremost and to serve others. And if I can serve them just by kind words of uh, my opinion or physically doing something for others, the reward's in my heart for doing that. In a sense, you don't have to try so hard um, to be good you just try to, to see what he sees and, and feel what he feels and, and the rest just kind of flows out of that. Most like every other church goer, I've been to church my whole life and I've known Jesus as my personal savior, but it's not just that. He wants us to show others his love. 
and give back to others just as he gave everything for us. Being a follower is serving others and showing Christ, uh, showing Christ to other people through yourself and just doing what God calls you to do. Uh, if you're still living your life doing it all for you, um, then you're definitely not following Christ. Um, the biggest thing that I was able to take away from it was if you really look at Christ's life, he was not living for him. I mean, he was living for God. I mean, all the decisions that he made was the stuff that God wanted him to do. And so we should be able to look at that into our lives and uh, go at it with the mindset of all the, all the decisions that we make should be the ones that Christ wants us to make.